This is a Dodge NV4500 five-speed transmission in the process of reassembly. This is the main shaft assembly. It's not complete, but it's to the point where I would like to install it into the case. On this end, I've got a fairly large area to grab onto. I, I don't know if I'm going to use this, but I put on a temporary piece of wire on this shift fork sliding collar. And if I have to, then at least I have a, a handle here yet to help slip it in. And then I'll just cut it off later. So I think I'm ready now, pretty much, to give this a try. So the bearing is about 104 there and it's not quite as warm in some other areas. I'll give that bearing a turn on the dash there. When I was assembling the main shaft I left the bearing off this end with the idea that it would be easier to get that whole main shaft assembly into the case with that bearing out of the way. So I'll have the bearing warming up a little bit. I don't want to forget the thrust washer. And this wood block down here, it acts as a cushion and, and also as a support, like a, like a spacer, to uh, hold this thing up and, uh, and to take some of the impact when I start hammering on this bearing. And uh, I don't want to be too rough on stuff here. Uh, 100, 108 or so, 114, 114, it's warm enough.
At this point I'd like to do an initial end plate check on the main shaft. To do that I will have to install the input shaft with the bearing retainer. So I'm just doing an initial check. I'm not going to be installing it with silicone yet. 